Welcome back to the channel. We're at Remedy Oak today. This is by far one of my favorite golf courses in the UK, one of my favorite layouts. This, this course, I think, sort of like goes under the radar. If you're, if you're around like the Bournemouth area, you probably know it very well. But if you're from other areas, you may not have heard of this one. I filmed here with Conig. We did an 18 hole match, which was last year. Since then, I've been buzzing to get back to this course because as you can see, it's all like cut out the, cut out the woods. Really, really good course design and the course is in like unbelievable condition. So what we've got today, um, I'm on my own, me and the cameraman, in the plating holes. I've got Shot Tracer. I know a lot of you um, left a few comments about that one. I'm gonna talk through exactly what I'm doing, talk about plans coming up golf wise and stuff and just enjoy this golf course. Okay, first up we've got 417 yard par four. Um, there's some bunkers in play, but I think it's gonna hit driver. This kind of shoot, this kind of yeah. suits the new shape that I'm going for. Little cuts, see what we can do. Just found bunker. I right, got 91 yards, and uh, yeah, this is literally the, the purest golf course, isn't it? So, as before we before we get into this, if you could actually leave this video a like, I don't usually ask for likes, but travel two hours and we've got an unreal day. So let's uh, let's try and get this to like a thousand likes. Got 52. If we can get this just over the flag. So this is sort of what we've been working on recently. So this is before, this was a putt all day, even though you're playing up 20 yards of rough, but I'm gonna try and get a soft little 56 landing, sort of like just at the top. quite a bit of bank here so aiming almost a foot outside oh we've got a big par five um second hole which goes like round to the left there's a tree at the end there the the white one um which is 311 to that so while I'm trying to hit fades at the moment, this is probably the only time where in order to get it far enough down there, I probably just have to turn one over. It's almost like go back to the natural feeling. That'll do. Keep going. Keep looking. Done. I could actually be right behind it. That's just not ideal. Probably have to turn this over an extra 30. I say wedge, 167, not quite. This is 167, there's absolutely no wind out here. Um, this is probably down about four. It's almost like very stock nine iron. Always slightly above. Um, you're playing down the hill. So I'm just gonna try and play what I'm feeling as a little fade at the moment, but play it towards the middle of the green. Um, and then the slope, if it's doing anything, it's just gonna bring it back to the flag. Right. It's the first one's landed just short, sort of like rip back on. Actually hit one just for the gram afterwards. 
which has ended up like eight foot away, which I'm going to show you a little replay of now. Maybe we don't need shot tracer, just need a, a Huawei. Showcase as Leon would say. Scrambling for par on the par five. Whoa. Right, we've got 420 yard par four now. This is actually screaming this little cut, right? So you can aim, there's a big tree in the distance there you see. You aim pretty much straight over that and just let it peel off of that. Right, I've got one thirty. It is um surprisingly like soft on the foot, but like, I'm sure they've just they water this course a lot. It's been good to pretty much any other golf course in the UK at the moment. It just looks like white and burnt out, but they've obviously put an effort in to make this course look like it does, which is pretty sick. Isn't it? So I've been working on pitching recently, trying to change my technique and trying to differentiate like the full swing to like a pitching action. Um, the problem is this is right in between. So a full pitching wedge is like a one, four, five shot. So instead of going into pitching action, which I'm trying to do, which I'll explain like in a future video, um, I think this is just sensible, just a little wedge. That pin looks like it's sort of like tucked on the left side. So based on what Steve was saying the other day, I think I'll just play a cut to sort of like middle of the green, probably about 10 foot right of the flag. Be in the hole. Go on, rip, rip. That's pitched here. That pitch is here. That's coming back. That's probably getting quite close. It sort of like kills it in the, uh, in the fringe. Well, you probably can't see this on camera, but this is quick. There's a couple of flies here, like, they've just moved. <laughs> um, so where they are now, that's pretty much where I'm trying to finish this. So after playing with Steve the other day, one of the biggest things he said was stop trying to do so much of it and just try and make it a bit more stress-free. And I've been so guilty in the past of almost going like bobber mode and trying to shape every single shot just as you see the hole but it just makes so much more sense what he's saying obviously he's got like bags of experience he knows his stuff so i'm just trying to sort of like take what he said on board and just develop um a bit more consistent shot pattern so um for me like i find it really hard to control a draw even though that's my natural shot pattern but i'm trying to now just work on sort of like a five to ten yard cut throughout the bag and just get a predictable ball flight got another absolute gem of a golf hole so this is 200 so we're playing like full backs today um there's 217 yards to the flag which is sort of like front ish it's probably about 225 middle um now numbers like five irons about 226 irons just over 200 so i'm just gonna feel like i'm taking like a tiny bit off of five iron here yeah this again is just prime prime uh little fade That was really pure. Oh, it's right out the middle of the face. I don't wonder what I'm doing. Basically, I'm just trying to get a, a feel for land with my feet. I'm not trying to like ruin my line. My feet are telling me this is pretty, pretty much straight. My eyes are sort of green, so. 
when you get them both correlating you just got to hit it on that line so slightly downhill Yeah, we've got 500, was it 535? But the shape of this hole, so you've got trouble down the right. You've got hazard which cuts in, I think about 270, 280, and it makes the hole basically do this. So all I'm really trying to do is get a two iron in play. Um, just bump one up about 250, 260. Then I can make the decision from there whether I, I want to go for it with a second shot or just lay up and play this as a free shot. Turned it a bit. But yeah, we're laying back. There's like 100 yards to work with, so slightly errant shot and fine. That's right, interesting one here because we've got two, I think it's about 240 ish. It's so like front middle. The pin's back probably about 260, 265. So the layup's actually way more closed in and that yardage is only really a four iron, like whatever wind there is, it's, it's slightly downwind. And as you get up there, if I aim this left side of the green, I can miss like 20 yards both ways and still be fine. So it should be four iron, so like middle of the green. was I mean where I'm aiming this I've, I've missed this like 15 yards right of where we needs to be and that was sort of like a poor ish swing um, but you can see the landing area that I'm actually trying to hit is so big um, it's really not much danger and actually knowing the other thing I picked up from Steve actually knowing where where to hit the ball to give you like the most margin for error not only is that obviously the, the most sensible option but it like frees up your golf swing so if you're hitting a 240 yard shot with a four iron and you've got 50 yards to work with you can just make like a, a free golf swing instead of looking and thinking i've got hazard right hazard left i'm thinking right i've got a 50 yard window so anyway this is the uh the short game Three, two, it's two nine two from that T plus twenty. Yeah, three twelve. Two nine two, it's three twelve. Yeah. <laughs> Rachel Riley would not be happy. Three hundred twelve yard par four. As you can see, it's like straight up the shoot. As you get closer to the green, um, it doesn't get any narrower. There's actually quite a bit of room up there, right of the green. There's not so much room left. It cuts in on the left, uh, just where that like single lighter tree is. With that said. I'm gonna aim sort of like right side of the greens to give myself the biggest margin. And like 310 is sort of like my carry distance at the moment because I'm still not quite out of mode yet. I still need to put on a few more kilos. So uh, yeah, just hitting little pats at the moment. Seven. So um, it's four six five. It goes round to the right. If you can't really hit driver here because it was go through the fairway, um, and I think there might be a hazard down there. Just try and hit this like two sixty two seventy, and then 
have quite a long shot in. So we got 2.15. This is literally pitched here. I think it's quite soft up this area. I managed to sit down before it got into this. Um, 2.15, whatever wind there is, like 10 mile an hour probably, is like going down from the right. So if we get a five iron, like turning slightly, it's just going to carry, like ride the wind and go quite long. So six iron, six iron is like 2.05 in the air. So with the wind, this should be perfect. I'm just going to aim this. That pin's tucked like real far on the left side. So I'm just going to aim middle of the green. Try and cut one in there. See, like I just thought I'd go back to the draw for that one, aim a middle of the, middle of the green and just try and turn it in there with six iron. Just ignore what I said just earlier. Right, I'm at level. I'm gonna do much. Right, gotta get a good read on this. Yeah, pretty straight. It's got 295, but it's like straight into wind. It's a drivable par four. There's only really, really one option here just because it's 295. Um, it's probably only like 260 to carry the water. And if you look at how much room there is up there, it's probably like 60 yards across. So I'm just trying to go up the same shape and just try and hit a little cut. I got a nice little par three to finish the front line here. Flag looks like it's in front. Let's look at the zoom. Yeah, flag's way back. So this is in between eight and seven, but the wind's definitely like into a tiny bit. So it's going to go easy on a seven iron in the center of the green. <laughs> 